It is, I think, basically about something that you look at and you don't see anything, you know. It's a, it's a, it comes from a camouflage strategy, which is called dazzle painting, which is different to a normal camouflage where things blend into the background and here things blend into themselves somehow. And uh, yeah, it's generally about something very visual, which is there for not seeing, you could say. I mean, I think we're operating in a challenging moment globally, right? Um, but I think the creative spirit of London really remains untouched, right? And London as a centre for business and a centre for creativity really stays really uh, exciting and, and, and quite unique. Um, you know, all the travel restrictions have now opened up. We're expecting an influx of collectors, an influx of visitors to the fair. And the art market, generally speaking, is faring very well. Two minutes. I don't think it affects an artist more than it does affect a shoemaker or I think that's that's how they I mean I'm more worried about how the war develops than I'm worried about how it has an economical effect on uh, on me personally. Of course, it's, uh, you know, you always wish things go on and uh, and uh, it's not getting worse. But you know, I think there's things that get worse that are worse than the things that can go worse if you make a little bit less money. As a gallery, we're uh, equally uh, engaged with our clients as we are with our artists. Um, and so any fluctuations as big as the ones we're experiencing at the moment will affect different parts of our ecosystem in different ways. I think right now there's obviously a great deal of um, uncertainty in certain areas. However, um, we, are, we are lucky that many of the collectors we work with will often reach deeper at this moment in time, especially to support artists and support institutions, which is really the lifeblood of our industry and our ecosystem. I mean, Freeze is definitely London's premier art fair. And it does feel like this year is the first full year post-pandemic. It feels like things are back to normal. And it feels like galleries are being a bit, a bit bolder this year. You know, you're seeing a bit more standout booths than we've seen in the past. 
you can always tell when people are being a bit more conservative because it's just paintings on walls while this year it feels like people have gone to an extra length to make their booth stand out a bit more. So with art fairs, it's worth noting art fairs are made for the trade. It's about buying art. So if you're a serious buyer and a collector of art, this is the place to be. If you're a sort of appreciator of art, it is a very busy environment. It's not curated in the sense to be an experience, it's curated to sell. And that's obvious and that's how it should be. But it means it is more tailored towards the buyers than it is to say critics and general people who appreciate art.